Good morning my dear students and welcome to Zenit Tutorials once again. In today's video lesson, I'll be talking about the tips or the pointers that you will follow to study during these two days of holidays for your maths exam and also very very important tips to be remembered while you are writing your question paper. Okay, now let's go ahead. Now how to prepare for your mathematics example? You have to Remember five things, okay. First, do chapter wise revision, okay. When you sit for revision, take chapter by chapter and revise it thoroughly. Second, just when you are revising chapter wise, just go through all type of questions that have come from that chapter. Be it from previous year's board papers, your prelims paper, sit with your prelims paper, sit with the board papers when you are doing a particular chapter. Do all types of questions that have appeared from board question papers, from prelims and sample papers. Then simultaneously while doing so, please keep on making notes of important concepts of every chapter. Okay. One more important thing that children neglect is theorems. Theorems are rarely asked students, but that doesn't mean that you will leave the theorems. Read the theorems carefully and write them as well. Okay. Then revise all the formulas thoroughly. Okay. On the last day of exam, on the day of exam when you are going for the exam, on that day take out the paper where you have written the uh, notes of all the concepts and formulas and revise it thoroughly and go for your exam not to worry at all. Now, most important is the pointers to be remembered while writing the paper. First of all, your paper presentation should be excellent. Second, I have already told you in my last video also, new question on new page. For maths, you have to follow it very religiously, new question on new page. Then section A, you have to attempt section A first. Okay. And it should get over by one hour because section B takes longer time. So in one hour, you should finish your section A. Keep an eye on your watch. Do not give more than five minutes on any of the question. If that question is taking more than five minutes, if you're thinking over that question, leave that question and come back to it when you are done with the paper. Okay. Then most important part is here, which will decide everything. Use your 15 minutes reading time very wisely. When you are reading your paper, okay, just don't think, okay, I know this question or I don't know this question. If you know that question, please recall from which chapter it is, which concept it is and which method you will follow to solve this. Because while we read, we generally take, okay, this I know, this I know. But when you actually start sitting and solving, you don't remember which formula you will put here or which concept is asked. Okay. So at that time only, you just, whenever you're reading a question, just in your brain cal evaluate that which chapter, which concept and which method is to be followed so that you don't waste time in attempting the wrong question. Okay. So that you decide accordingly that which four questions of section B you are going to do. This will save you a lot of time. Then graph questions. You have to take care of this very this is very important theory part on answer sheet. Whenever you are doing any graph question, just don't write every theory behind the graph. The theory part has to be in the answer sheet because marks are allotted in the answer sheet. Even if you have just to draw a graph, you draw a graph, but write question number and just write one line or the solution of that on the answer sheet itself, not on the graph paper. Second most important thing is graph paper has to be attached in between the main answer sheet and not at the end. In the end if you, if suppose you have attached it at, at the end, what happens it, it might get, it might get tore off, it might get, it might go off. Okay. But in between if you have stapled or if you have tied in between the paper, in between the main answer sheet, what happens it, even if it gets untied, it will remain in your answer sheet. One more important thing about graph is do not forget to mention the question number on the graph paper. Okay. These three things you should follow while, while you are doing any question related to graph. This is very important. Next is 
after thorough checking after you have finished your paper and after you have thoroughly checked the paper you have done the missed questions that you have left previously what you will do is you will attempt the other questions okay please always remember that there are marks for writing given writing the formula and for correct substitution okay so for the rest of the questions that you have left just try doing that because you never know okay you might get marks here your marks get might get cut in the previous question which you are thinking is correct so after thorough checking please attempt all the question write give what is given write the formula and at least write one step okay then don't cut if you are in doubt if you have solved some sum and if you are in doubt whether it is correct or wrong okay and you are thinking okay i'll solve another sum but don't cut that previous sum if you are in doubt you never know you might get more marks there and more marks are always calculated okay then if you feel a question is wrong if you feel there is a question which is out of course or if there is something wrong in the question don't ever leave it blank okay mention the question number write the formula if you know okay or any of the step that you know about it and just don't leave it blank if you leave it blank you will not get the grace marks allotted for that question if in case that question is wrong okay so you have to mention the question number and you have to show the examiner that you have attempted that question this way if you follow all these steps religiously i am sure your less marks would be cut okay and you will get a very very high score in maths all the best for your revision if in case you feel you need to revise some topic with me please write in the comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you